Hello and welcome to day 9 of the DIY Super Electric Longboard Scooter. Today we work on the kickstand and create a battery box from scratch. I start out by taking measurements of the batteries, drawing the measurements onto the steel, and then cutting the steel to size. And now here's a quick view of how this battery box is going to look and hold the battery. Now that the metal has been cut, the edges are quite rough. So I use my bench grinder and clean up the edges real quick. I hold the metal pieces in place with corner magnet pieces. I double check that the battery will fit. And warning, I'm about to start welding if you're sensitive to flashes. I start out by tack welding the pieces and then I fill in the rest with nice strong welds. And now I start work on the kickstand. I start by cutting a piece off to the right length and then cutting a notch out of it. I then clean up the edges with my bench grinder. And I use my mini drill press to drill a hole in the center. Here's a quick view of the hardware I'm going to use. And now I drill a hole into the frame of the scooter. This is where the kickstand will go. Of course I'm being very careful not to puncture a hole in the tire. So now it's time to install the kickstand. I start by inserting the bolt, adding some washers. I use a regular nut to tighten it down and then a locking nut to prevent it from uh, falling on its own and that's what keeps the kickstand up when not in use. I originally wanted to use a spring but that overcomplicated everything. Warning, I'm about to start welding again. I wanted a, a, a little uh, metal tab here to keep the kickstand in the standing position and that way the bike doesn't fall over with the kickstand keeps going. So now I work on a way to mount the battery box up above the rear tire. I figure this is a good place to keep it out of the way and possible I can put a seat up there if I need to. Um, I'm cutting these pipes at a slight angle so they seat into the frame better and grinding them down to clean the edges up a little. So now I'm working on a battery tie down. This will hold the battery in place and keep it from falling out when I hit bumps. I use my drill press to drill holes and this is where I'll be putting bolts and possibly wing nuts to hold it in place. Please stay tuned for day 10 where we work on the speed controller and the wiring. Pretty much the scooter will be done. Please watch. And also, please consider helping if you can on our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash how to engineering. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and be sure to like, subscribe, follow, watch our playlist and all those wonderful things.